So I'm Marie Bukaitis. I am a uh, professor and associate dean for research and scholarship at the University of Alabama at Birmingham in uh, Alabama. And my work has been focused on providing or developing new ways to provide palliative care to people who are especially in um, rural or under-resourced areas where there is very little or limited um, access to palliative care. So, so I'm a nurse and also a nurse practitioner. And so my work, when I first started my career as a very young girl, <laughs> was um, focused on taking care of people. And it became clear after I was working in investigational treatments in cancer, in things like bone marrow transplant, and trying out new treatments that it was a very um, exciting time for people who were getting cured of their disease. But most people who do investigational treatments are not cured. And they um, didn't seem to be getting the same amount of care and attention as those who everyone was excited because they were, you know, fighting and winning their battles against disease. And so I became very interested in how can we better take care of people who aren't doing so well? Um, and how can we make sure that, you know, their families are supported and they are supported? So that's kind of where my passion came from, was really trying to help people that I felt were getting the same amount of attention as those who might be doing that. I think the challenges that we face in palliative care research are related to getting um, people, healthcare providers who are sort of interested in treating, 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 and curing, 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 to value the importance of making people um, have improved quality of life and not necessarily only quantity of life. Um, and so, you know, the public, you know, they want a quick fix, they want a cure, they want a pill, something they'll do that will take, make them better. When really what's most important, um, is, which is what palliative care is about, improving quality of life, not necessarily being able to take care of the disease, um, is it takes time. And it's not so fancy or sexy or um, as, you know, just having a, a pill that will, you know, cure your disease. So the challenge is trying to get people to be excited and passionate and supportive of developing um, that kind of care. I think the story that made me, or the stories that made me the most passionate are the ones of the people that I didn't or couldn't help before palliative care was a thing. And the sadness and regret that people had because they didn't know making this choice was going to lead them down this path. And if they didn't, they didn't know that it would lead them into a path that wasn't necessarily consistent with their values. And so what my goal has been is to never hear the words, if I had only known that if I did things this way, that I would end up in a place that I didn't want to be. Often it was, choosing to take a treatment that has a very high risk and that would cause them to lose a lot that was important to them in their quality of life. Um, and they might have made other choices. Uh, 
Um, I think sometimes it's about the language we use. And so the way that we present things sometimes will be like, well, do you want to have aggressive care or comfort care? And, you know, if you're the kind of person that you're fighting for your life, you know, hearing something like comfort care sounds like passive or nothing or giving up. And so um, promoting palliative care is something that we need to do um, very aggressively like we were giving it any aggressive treatment. But this aggressive treatment is one that's directed at quality of life. Possibly, and, and, and sometimes it also improves its quantity of life, right? But the, um, the language that we use is what helps people to hear without getting a stigma or blocked by, well, this means I'm giving up. Uh, and so, I think it starts at a very basic level, um, not forcing people to say that, you know, they want to talk about death. Like, who wants to talk about death? Nobody. <laughs> it's not about death and dying. It's really about living and life and quality of life and aggressively pursuing treatments that will help quality of life.